Alrighty guys, so I wanted to welcome you to uh, the progress update uh, for February 2nd, 2016. Again, this is going along with my uh, transparency. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'll post a link in this video up in the upper right hand corner up here uh, with a link to it on my first transparency video about squats. Uh, I know it's only up to about 60 views at the moment, but that was definitely uh, one of the fastest growing viewed videos on my YouTube channel. So I definitely think uh, that a lot of people appreciate it and a lot of people liked it. So I try to be very transparent in all that I do, uh, regardless of failure or success. Uh, this is part of Brick Athletics. The Instagram is here. And then my personal Instagram is right here if you care to follow my personal life. Um, everything else fitness related will be on Brick Athletics for sure and occasionally on my personal one. I try to keep it a little more personal just because I don't really need to blow up everybody else uh, with everything <laughs> involved in fitness. So, quick update, this is me, this progress photo is a little bit old, uh, makes me look a little bit leaner than I am, I guess, um, didn't take one this past weekend, so I currently weigh about 200, 205 pounds, and my goal is to get back down to about 190, uh, definitely over a little bit on the holidays, didn't really track macros, I enjoyed myself, don't get me wrong, I don't hate myself, it was my decision, uh, but I'd like to get back down to a little bit leaner state, this is a little bit too heavy for me, um, belt's a little tight, and I like to be a little bit skinnier. Uh, jeans are tight, church pants are tight, so I definitely have to come back down about 10 pounds or so, back back, back to 190. Uh, I don't need to be the really lean as I was for a meet at 181, um, but definitely 200 pounds is too big. So right now, um, my current macro is about 3,000 cows, um, 200 grams of protein, 400 grams of carbs, 72 grams of fat, and then I'll do plus or minus 5 grams on either of those macros. Um, that's my intake right now. I'll kind of, we'll start tapering that down very, very, very slowly. Got to get it back down to 190. No rush. I'm not going to do a meet, which I'll get into in any time soon or compete on stage. Um, but I would like to definitely get a little bit leaner, especially for summer. I don't need to be this fluffy. And so without further ado, let's show a quick video from the meet. Uh, bear with me a second. Where my cursor go? There we go. Enjoy, guys. This is a video I made uh, from this past powerlifting meet from this past weekend. Uh, January 30th of 2016. So enjoy. <laughs> Okay. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll post the link in the description if you want to watch it again. Um, so in a recap, uh, I competed the 205 class, 93 kilos. This is my first official meet. I loved it. Uh, I went eight for nine, and as you can see, uh, squatted 365, benched 245, and dead lifted 445. Uh, squat was a 35-pound PR. Um, Bench was a 25 pound PR. So my Wilkes was 304, which was 10 points higher or 8 points higher than my previous Wilkes uh, when I was lighter and I tested back in November of 2015. And I finally broke 1,000 pounds. So I was that was definitely a goal. I, I, when I saw what my attempts were going to be, I definitely wanted to get them because I definitely wanted a total of above 1,000 pounds. I've been wanting to do that since January of last year when I first started powerlifting. So that was definitely a great goal to achieve. And I just had a great first meet. You know, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I can't wait to do my next one. And going eight for nine on my first meet, I can't complain. Um, but definitely my next meet. Actually, hold on. We'll get into that when I uh, flip the slide. So post-meet goals. Um, like I said, get back to 190. Uh, competing at 205 was... Not ideal. Um, it was good because I didn't have to diet, but I was a fat, the fat 205. I wasn't really a big 205, so I was definitely in the smallest in terms of strength in the class. Um, so, so definitely want to compete back at 82 pounds in the fall of 16 if I plan to compete. compete. So before I compete, though, my goals are to get up to a 450 squat, uh, 315 bench, and a 550 deadlift. Uh, total 1,300 pounds. All of those lifts together are slightly over 1,300. Uh, obviously, a larger goal is to total 1,300 pounds, which will be roughly 250 pounds more uh, than my last total, which was 1055. And um, I'm also working on conventional deadlifts. So as you can see in the picture, I sumo deadlifted, or sumo deadlift. Um, that's what I've been doing for over a year. And actually today in the gym, uh, this morning on Tuesday, I changed it up and pulled conventional, uh, doing two sets of seven at 3:30, it moved pretty well. I definitely need to work on my form. Um, you'll see in this weekend's training summary, uh, the form's kind of eh. My back was a little too 
rounded. Def I can work on it, but you know, I haven't pulled convention in a long time, so I definitely want to get into it. I feel like I can be a little more powerful. Sumo is a lot more technical. Uh, if my knees lock too early, I can't can't grind the weight up as easily as I can in conventional. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. And you know, whichever one I'm stronger in, obviously that is the one I will compete in uh, in my next meet. So again, I posted this before and talked about it, but you know, just as a friendly reminder, uh, reality versus mainstream. Uh, obviously, reality being the red zigzaggy line that goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up. Linear is reality. You're going up all the time throughout the entire process. You're always going up. And then mainstream. This is what people want you to believe. Success is a straight shot up. That's bullshit. And anyone that thinks this is success has this kind of success probably hasn't achieved anything. They're probably home playing Call of Duty all day long in their mom's basement. And if you are, quit being lazy and go do something productive. I don't even care if it's powerlifting related or fitness related. Just be productive, challenge yourself, and work hard. And again, you can follow this on Instagram. Uh, I've given this spiel before, you know, what we are. Uh, but anyway, I added this note right here. It's kind of a big one. IG is kind of on hold. I haven't really published much on there. I actually don't even know how many followers it's up to. Or anything of that sort. I haven't published on it in a long, in a couple of weeks. Uh, I have some big project in the works that's taking my attention, so I really don't want to be have a focus on Instagram. I'll get back to using it after this big project is over. But this is definitely my priority, which hopefully I can release this year. This is going to be a long time, so bear with me. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, but it is a big project, and it's going to take some time. So again, if you have thoughts, leave your comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let's create a positive movement in the fitness industry. This is not about me. Uh, this is not about powerlifting. Uh, this is about creating positive movement in the fitness industry, promoting a healthy lifestyle, not one that lives out of a Tupperware dish, and it's all self-absorbed in vanity and seeing their abs and biceps in the mirror because that is not what fitness is about. Fitness is about improving yourself, making yourself better, being a better person for everyone around you. Uh, and trust me, I've learned that the hard way. And I'll be I'll be certain to share more of my story in the coming weeks. Thank you guys for watching, and keep laying the bricks to build your dreams. God bless.